I'm the type of person, now I'm not like that anymore, and I don't even need it, but like, I used to like be the one to like turn down gifts. Like I never would like want them to even pay for my food, which is so, like my mom is so African and like taught me never to like take stuff from guys, but now, city girls, hot girls, summer. <laughs> yeah, right, now that's the, the new wave, right? You paying for this. Bye yeah, bye. right? So yeah. That's like the privilege of being yeah. a hot girl. It's like buy, buy me all kinds of expensive shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How could you not? How like, could you How not? else are they going to prove that they're really but interested? Exactly. But also now, like, but I don't even want to talk to guys right now. That's not my focus. But um, I'm in the position where, like, they have to do for me because I'm going to do for them. Like, I'm very giving. I love, I love to give. Right. Love to give. Yeah. And you're bringing more to the situation, chances are, too. Exactly. So you're not seeing anyone right now? No. No. Not at all. Why? Um, Just because, like... Niggas are just, I just have had been really bad experiences, like, as of late. Uh-huh. And, well, actually, no. The last time I had sex was spring break, and it was just a really bad experience. And really? I just have been thrown off. Like, I'm lonely. I do want a boyfriend. I talk about it. But I'm so focused, and, like, I've gotten so much done in this amount of time, and I know it's because spring, I've left niggas alone. Spring break was a new experience that went terrible? Or it was just some no, regular it was just, shit? No, it was regular. It was just, like, it, rem- it sh- like showed me, like, what the fuck, Ruby? Mm. I've got to leave these niggas alone. I mean, it can be hard to balance having, like, a really active dating social life with, like, being really active with your career, I feel like. Yeah, and niggas just, like, don't, niggas don't want you to shine. Yeah. Truthful, or at least the guys that I encounter, you which think, maybe it's me. They just maybe get too competitive. Me. Well, yeah, but you also go for these, like, upper echelon-ass dudes that are the types of dudes that are, like, super competitive. Like, you kind of have to be super competitive to be a really, really popular rapper. Yeah. But, <clears throat> that's not even, yeah, I'm <laughs> not have, even, like... a like, crisis, man. <laughs> fuck this shit. Yeah, fuck it, though. I don't know. I w- so, I was watching the DJ Small Eyes interview, mm-hmm. which was kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Which, I was high as fuck. Really? You're not high right now? I smoked, but I don't, this weed I got out here, I don't know. It's really? wedding cake. It's not good? Uh, I got some weed. Do you want to roll it up? Um, in a second. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, wait, what were you going to No, say? you're right. You probably would get weird. Yeah. No, I just Wait, why was it weird? Because People were he's saying just it sounded like a porn. Like, yeah, it did. So <laughs> and it's like, no disrespect to him, but that shit is just weird to me. Like, he's just very much like, so, like, when did you get your period for the first time? And it's just like, <laughs> nah, no, no, no. The fuck Small eyes is cool as fuck. He's cool? Chill. Okay. He's cool as fuck. I don't want to be dissing him over and no, over. You're I just, cool. I keep interviewing girls where I watch them before I do the interview on his shit. And it's just like, so have you ever thought about getting breast implants? Because he's probably he's asking shit like that other people want to like. Well, hear. he gets good titles out of it. I can't yeah, lie because at the exactly. end of the day, it's like you kind of want to. Ruby Rose you... wonders if she has herpes. Like <laughs> you have to chill. That one was, was that even a serious rumor or what? Like this gay nigga spread that. Like bro, I'm like. So do you think that you might be hanging out with too many wild ass gay dudes? Um, they seem like they're causing no, problems for you. No, it was just you. one. It was okay. one. It was that same one. Mm. Yeah. Is this the same one that tried to air yes, out Cardi and yes, make it seem like he was gay? One. And that was all cap for the record? That was all cap. Okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Other people in the room are laughing. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> let me ask you this. Is it hard for you to listen to Iggy Azalea the same way now that she's dating your ex? No. I like, I don't, I never really listen to her music, but I do like her song with Tyga. It goes like, giddy, 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 giddy. I don't remember. Ass. Cash. <laughs> that sounds like a so, horror song, so I'm going to be honest. No. Um, I wait, like her. But, okay, so you fuck with her. Mm-hmm. Do, do you look at that relationship from the outside and be like, appro- he don't you love approve her. of it? He don't. No, I'm kidding. You don't think he loves it? No, I'm kidding. He probably does. They seem like they're fucking nuts over each other. Yeah. We see pictures of them out walking the dog together and they're looking terrible and shit. Yeah. That, wait, that seems what? like love. Let me right? see it right now. I you never saw that picture. About? No. I saw a picture of them walking the dog together and. She had no makeup on. They just look. What? It totally looked like they Did were in a real that? relationship. You saw it? I didn't see that. It's, Typically, people tag me in like all their shenanigans, so I thought you know, I would see it. it I like think if, they might be engaged. If, I think they are too. If they if they were just trying to look hot for TMZ, yeah. the photo would have looked very different. I think mm-hmm. it looked like oh, like here, we're, like regular, and he like, was like flipping off the camera in uh, his pajamas or some shit. Damn, I gotta see it. I'm gonna look after. Yeah, <clears throat> damn. But does, so that doesn't make you feel some kind of way to like see like a. Mm-hmm. A guy like him just going for the the Australian category. You don't like feel kind of jealous and be like, Not come on, jealous. Stick, like stick with an African American from America. No, I'd rather be, him be. Actually, no. Honestly, I don't even care. Like, actually, I do care. I'm not gonna lie, but I can't care anymore because <sighs> I just can't care. 
Right. You gotta just keep it moving. I can't. I gotta keep it moving. Yeah. Got to. There you go. I would. If I was still with him, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So mm-hmm. I have to think about it like that. Was that where your mind stayed? Was that during the relationship where you were kind of like, no. I can't, I can't excel past where no, I'm at? No, I wanted it, it to be. I, no, I wanted to be. Actually, I don't know. I was just so in love. I, I was so in love. Really. Mm, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Anyways. Um. Is it hard to kind of like get people to take you serious, given that you are just like I did, like you're known as a model and a video girl, and now you're doing the music thing? Do you feel like it's hard to make your fans like really get on board with the concept? Um, at first it was when I fr- like dropped my song after the song with Cardi. It was called Trickin'. It was very mediocre. Mm. Um, they took me as a joke, but then like really with Big Mouth niggas, I feel like niggas take me serious and like see what I'm doing, see what I'm working with. Like I be with be with everybody Hitmaker, london jr wrote them like i'm working with like really what's it called credible reputable people reputable, reputable. producers yeah yeah there you go that's like one of those words you always read yeah. and you don't really have no, to no, think no, about no. how to yeah. say it reputable. respect to you for trying it though <laughs> so do, what was it about that song how many songs did you make before you landed on big mouth and you were like that's the one um, like, see, me, I be, like, starting songs and not finishing them. So, like, really, I have, like, probably, like, 20 or 30, no, probably not 30, probably, like, 20 songs I've started. Mm-hmm. And then Big Mouth is probably, um, Big Mouth is probably number seven. Okay. And then Chicken was number three. Right. Let's put it like that. Did you have th- three phones before you got signed? No, I only had, like, one or two. No, I had two, probably. Okay. What the fuck are you doing with three phones? Okay, so really, I typically only have two, but look how fucked up this one is. Oof, what the so fuck I, is I on there that you're holding on to? Everything. I, and I just got this one yesterday, so I have to switch everything over. So typically, I would only have two. Right. Um, is, red. Is the red, does the red mean anything? There's a lot of blood in Atlanta. Of course. Yeah? Of course, and my name is Ruby Rose. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Who put you on that? Um, my big homie? Yeah. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, this is going to be the best conversation. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I don't want to say anybody's name in particular. Right. You don't claim, like, a particular set, set or anything? Um, W135, Pyru, Whoop, Sulu Gang. <laughs> you said it like you just said it for the first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the first time. All right, I'll, I'll leave it to the comments yeah. to, to figure out exactly what your uh, gang affiliation is. Um, I know this is, like, the <clears> question <throat> that every female rapper hates to be asked, but I got to do it. Nikki or Cardi, what, which one would you... I'm going to say both. Mm, there you go, very but political. Nikki, Nikki has more years, has earned her stripes, and she's like a really a true artist, but Cardi B is like an entertainment, but so is Nikki, mm. so they're both lit. They are both lit. I was just, like, I was just overseas. Who do girls? Wait, what, what were you gonna say? I was just overseas, overseas and just like. Where, what part? I was in England for this festival and Cardi was headlining it, and I went around and we were asking everybody who they were there to see, and it was like everyone said Cardi to the point where it was like mind blowing. I'm like, yeah. wow, like no, they, they probably B's, didn't have to book anyone else. Cardi B's the hottest right now for sure. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is. It's kind of scary. Are you gonna hop on Old Town Road remix? <sighs> no. Nah. You're not gonna do it. But you're from Kentucky. You might have some of that swag in you. Yeah. He's done too many remixes of it. And, mm-hmm. like, the Billy Ray Cyrus one is too legendary. I don't even want to test. I, mean, I can't compete. That's a fact. How do you feel about, like, the whole... It's sort of like there's a moment in hip-hop going on right now. There's a shitload of female rappers who are doing good for themselves and was never like really who? like this before. Megan. Who else? Rico Nasty. Who else? Uh, T.R. Wack. Who else? You know, maybe sit here all day. Dreezy's popping. Okay, yeah. I mean, I could. I no, could, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're you know, right. it's there not. You. you know, there's a lot. How do you feel about it though? Do you feel like this is the moment, or do you feel Absolutely. like competitive? Are you just happy to see all these girls getting their shine? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think that it should be more. My favorites are Megan, Tierra Whack. I fucking love Tierra Whack. She's I crazy. I can't believe I, and I keep forgetting that Rico Nasty is a rapper because her music is just so like different. It's like right. I love it though. The, they all three basically like won their ciphers, if you ask me. Definitely. They all rap the best out of each group, which is crazy. Tierra was on the XXL freestyle? Yeah. 
I didn't see it. It was the last one that came out. Her, Roddy Rich, and Blueface, maybe? I forget. Mm. Who else? No, Dang. Corday, maybe? I forget. But either way, like, they all went crazy. Like, they didn't have to go that hard. Yeah, One no. of them could have sucked, right? But they all went crazy. Yeah. For sure. I hope I can. Do you think they're really freestyles? Hell no. Yeah, that's what they tell me. It's not really freestyles. No. And they make you do it a bunch of times, too. So Really? You get I, more than one take? I think you don't know what take they're going to use. Oh, God. Because I've heard unfair. from people that told me they went in there and did three different <clears> verses, <throat> and they didn't know which one was going to come out until the day of the thing. Damn. Isn't that weird? That is weird. Do you aspire as the XXL list something that you're like thinking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. I want to do all that. Hmm. I want to do all of it. Facts. You got any other like big career plans on the way you, you mentioned mixtape earlier but then you like didn't finish saying yeah it. no maybe not mix I don't, they don't want to call it a mixtape but i want to call it a mixtape because i haven't done this is like I, i've never had a mixtape but they want to say album mm. that's scary it's a lot of pressure like mixtape yeah so that's gonna be coming mm. fall i have a song dropping august lynn 30th august 30th it's so hard another single Yes. When is the video for Big Mouth? Bro, drop? so listen, we shot the video in mm. Atlanta. It wasn't it. It wasn't it. Really? So it you had to reshoot it. it. We're reshooting it in LA Wednesday. Lynn, my boo Lynn got it. Nice. What's the concept for the video? It's, I don't even want to tell because it's so crazy. I literally thought of it in the car. Really? I thought of it in the car. Pardon? Oh, we should premiere it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Let's do it. Yeah. No, it's so like, bro, no bitch, is, no bitch or nigga has done this yet in a music video. Really? On oh, God. Wow, I can't wait. Birdman hand rub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> CMB. Um, okay, That's so a lot to uh, look forward to. I'm excited. Proud of you. Thank you. Truly? Yeah. Thank you. It's going to be a big year. Thank you. Hopefully nobody wants to fight us after this podcast. I know. I should. It's, right. it's too late. We're gangsters. We'll be all right. Yeah, we're all right. All right. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this throwback clip. If you did, show some support. Like, comment, subscribe, and head on over to nojumper.com if you want to support. Or go on over to Snapchat and just search No Jumper. There's a link in the description. We've had our news show dropping a couple times per week, and I swear you're going to love it. Balling like an athlete, but got No Jumper. Appreciate y'all.